All right, so we got a customization video here. Um, these rackets belong to a local college player. Uh, he's currently a senior, top 10 in the nation for Division II. Um, he's got a COVID year, so next year he's gonna go play for a top D1 program. But anyways, these are his rackets. So let's get to customizing. Um, I've got the rackets numbered here. So you can see one, two, and three. I'm gonna put them to the side and we're gonna go ahead and get their measurements. So starting with um, racket one, we're gonna go ahead and get the weight. Got 333.6 grams. <clears throat> Let's get the balance. All right, we got a thirty two point five centimeter balance. <clears throat> And let's go ahead and get the swing weight. <clears throat> All right, we're looking at a 330 swing weight. I always like to get this one twice. So let's go ahead and just double check the swing weight. All right, 330 it is. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to racket number two. <clears throat> and go ahead and get the weight. Gonna at 329.2. Okay. We'll get the balance. <clears throat> Thirty two point five centimeter balance again. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and get the swing weight. <clears throat> Got a 325 swing weight. Let's go ahead and double check that. All right, 325 it is. <clears throat> That's racket number two. Let's go ahead and get the specs of racket number three. <clears throat> Starting with the weight. Three thirty two point five. Go ahead and get the balance. <clears throat> 
32 and a half centimeter balance. Okay. So they all have the same balance point. That's good. Good start. <clears throat> And let's go ahead and get the swing weight here. All right, we got a 329. Let's go ahead and double check that. Three twenty nine. Okay. All right. So we got the specs here of the three rackets. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way and we'll take a look. <clears throat> so looking at the rackets, um, it looks like racket one and three are pretty close. Um, all three rackets have the same balance. So one and three have the same balance. They're just about a gram apart. Um, we got 332.5 and 333.6. Um, and they're only one point apart in swing weight. Um, so that's looking really good. Uh, I don't really feel like we would need to mess um, with any of the specs of, of those two rackets. So in this case, it's going to be a real simple customization. What we're going to do is we're going to try and get this racket number two here, um, which is about four, a little over four grams um, lighter than the heaviest. And it's also five swing weights, uh, five swing weight points lower than the highest swing weight. We're going to try and bump that up a little bit in this static weight number um, and the swing weight number without messing with the balance too much. So in order to do that, um, Tennis Warehouse has all these customization worksheets. So we're gonna go ahead and go um, to there. All right, let me put this aside for now. And so you can type in what you have. Um, we're gonna type in the specs of Racket 2 and we're gonna try and match it somewhere between one and three, just get it in that same range there. Um, so the length, we got a standard 27 inch racket. Um, the weight of racket two came out to 329.2. And the balance was 32.5. And the swing weight was 325. All right, so 27 inches, 329.2, 32.5 centimeter balance, and 325 swing weight. Those are the specs of racket two. We're gonna try and get that right in the range there. So maybe shoot the gap between the difference of, um, of one and three there. So for the weight, um, we're going to go ahead and we'll say 333, split the difference on those two rackets. Oops. <clears throat> um, the balance, we're going to try and keep it at that 32.5 centimeter balance. And then the swing weight, um, we're going to try and get that up to, let's just go ahead and say 330, the heavier of the, of the two. All right, so you can hit the customize my racket button. They give you all different kinds of solutions here. In this case, um, we have a solution where we can add lead in one location or add weight in one location. Um, we can do it in two locations or you can do it in three locations. So the single location match, if you get that, is obviously the easiest there, the least invasive. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go with that. It's suggesting here to add 3.8 grams um, at 17.7 inches. So 3.8 grams, roughly four grams at 17.7 inches. I'm gonna write a quick note of that. <clears throat> 3.8, 17.7. 
So we want 3.8 here. We wanted to do that at 17.7 inches. Okay. So from there, um, you can use lead, you can use um, tungsten weight. I prefer the tungsten um, if it's gonna be exposed. So we're gonna go ahead and use some tungsten here. Again, we need about four grams. Um, each of these strips is three grams. So we're gonna need about a strip and a third here. Let's go ahead and get this out. Get these broken up. <clears throat> backing is tearing a little bit here, but that's all right. We're going to peel this off. Um, okay. So let's see here. Let's confirm that this actually weighs about three grams. And we're there. We're 3.1. We got a little extra backing there and the backing itself does have a little bit of weight. So when I peel this backing off, um, this strip will probably be actually a little bit less than three grams. So um, let's go ahead and see if we can maybe get these into about one gram pieces here. <clears throat> so if we go, let's measure this off and be precise here. <clears throat> the whole strip looks like it's about eight inches, if I remember. Yeah, eight inches. So. You want roughly a third of that. So let's go ahead. Let's start with three. Let's start a little bit over. We'll start with some three inch strips here and we'll go from there. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna mark off three inches. We'll throw that on the scale and see what weight we're working with there. Three inches right there. Let's go ahead and cut that off. <clears throat> okay, throw that on the scale. Yeah, we're looking for about a gram. That's exactly a gram right there. And again, when I peel that backing off, we're gonna lose a little bit of weight. So I like that length right there. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that length. So let's get a few more strips. We need four, um, just like that. Match those up, see how that looks. Looks good. Throw it on the scale. 1.1. All right, we're right in that range. Let's get two more strips of the same length. <clears throat> and peel these off. I've worked with this in the past. It actually comes off a little cleaner than this. So um, usually it's a little bit easier, but it's okay. All right, work with this one here. And we need two more pieces of this same length here. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and mark them off this time. third piece. Let's go ahead and put it down and mark off one more. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. That's a scrap. Let's check the length of all these. Stack them. Kind of sticky, the backing's peeling off a little bit. Just want to double check the length, make sure everything looks good. All right, we're good to go. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and grab racket number two, um, bring it over here and we'll finish up with our customization here. Move the scale out of the way. And the iPad, we don't need that anymore. <clears throat> and let's get going. All right, so here's racket two. We needed to add about, again, 3.8 grams at about 17.7 inches. Uh, we've got four grams here with the backing on. Uh, I'm willing to bet that once I peel this backing off, it's going to be 3.8 or less. So we got the right amount of weight there in four strips. And then we want to go ahead and just measure off here um, 17 inches. So let's do that, 17.7 inches from the butt cap. So 17 and a half is that uh, fifth cross. 17.75 is kind of like right in the middle of those crosses. So really the weight should be centered um, just above this fifth cross here. So let's go ahead and lay the strip down about there. And let's see visually what we get. Okay. So again, the weight should be centered at just above this fifth cross. So, you know, right about here. Um, and that's right about where it is. I always like if I can get a visual of where to lay it down. Um, that's pretty helpful. So if I lay it down right across this, this uh, right even with the paint there, I think it, number one, looks good. Um, and then number two, it's going to help me put them in the exact locations. Um, so I think that'll be, that'll be good right there. So we're going to go ahead and peel this off and lay it down. Don't see a lot of lead or tungsten in this location. This is actually where, where Novak puts, puts his weight, but usually people put it at 12 o'clock or um, three and nine. But Novak, if you ever take a look at his racket, um, this is where he puts it kind of down a little bit below the three and nine positions. We'll go ahead and lay this first strip down. Again, we're using this paint here as a guide. Okay, and there we go. I like to get it up against the grommets, but you don't want to interfere with them too much or press it up too hard against there. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and pick out our next strip here. Yep, that'll go nicely on the other side. Ahead, flip that over, peel off the backing. Okay. Okay. 
or I'm sure my big old head's probably in the way for a lot of this, but I'm doing the best I can here. Alright, that looks pretty good right there. Okay, so we got one side all set up. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and add this to the other side as well. We'll throw it back on the swing weight scale and balance and see what we end up with. That one came off nice and easy, I always like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw this down here. <clears throat> Okay, looks good. All right, <clears throat> get the other side now. <clears throat> Okay, the last strip. Here we go. I'll throw this on and see where we end up. My OCD likes the labels to line up just even with each other. So we're going to go ahead and cater my OCD at the moment. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, get the weight first. Bring the scale back into the picture here. <clears throat> Turn that bad boy on. We're looking again to get somewhere in that range. Hopefully between these two, um, we'd be fine with closer to that heavier one. So let's see what we get here. 333.7. Let's go, we love that. Okay, so let's write down the new um, specs of the racket number two now. So we got three, 30, 3.6, just like racket number one. So that's a good start. Um, let's see if the balance changed at all. Okay. Balance might have gone up a little bit, and we're fine with that. It was 32 and a half. We want to keep it close to that. 30. There's 32 and a half. All right. So we didn't really change the balance at all. That's great. We're kind of close to the center of mass there um, where we added the weight. Um, so it's not too far from where the center is. So it didn't really change the balance. Um, and we just added, you know, about 3.8 grams. So we are still at 32.5 centimeter balance. And so now, um, the moment of truth here, we want to see if we can get that swing weight closer to that 329, 330 number. I'm guessing with the location of the um, tungsten, we're gonna be, if I had to guess, I'm gonna guess we're closer to that 330. So let's go ahead and see here. Well, anything 329, 330, 328, we're fine with. Drum roll. Ooh, 332. All right, we're fine with that too. Let's write that down. 332. 
All right, so we are at 332. Let's go ahead and um, get rid of this line because these are the three rackets that we're working with now. And see if we're good with that or see if we want to mess around anymore. So balances are all currently the same. Weight, all essentially the same. Swing weight, um, we are within three points top to bottom. Um, not a huge deal. I'd rather have this be over for a high, high level player um, than under. They definitely can utilize more mass as opposed to less mass. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that and let him hit with it, see what it feels like. Um, if we wanted to, we could very easily um, just snip off about a centimeter of each of these strips. Um, if we snipped off that centimeter of each of these strips, it's just gonna bring that weight down a tiny bit, probably closer to 333. And then it would bring that swing weight down probably a point, so 331, and then they're all essentially right there. But again, you know, we always would rather have a high level player playing with something a little bit heftier and a little bit higher swing weight. I mean, they're all within three points now. Um, so really there's, there's minimal difference. So we'll leave it at that, let him hit with it and then see if we need to adjust it from there. Um, if you wanna see more videos like this, I am planning on doing more customizations and have some other ideas in mind. If you wouldn't mind liking or subscribing, um, that would really help me continue to do this. I have two um, full-time jobs, one of which is a, a, an assistant coach at a university, um, but I'm trying to move more into the full-time tennis world. Don't know in exactly what capacity yet, but this would kind of help that journey if you could either like or subscribe. Thank you.